one of the best um, community service here in the city. Minang Kumekasi, where dreams are sent to die, but arrive to find immortality. Where it goes is the shares of life. I'm a Jita Pushum Sarezo. And pulsing through its streets are the colors that tell its story. This time, I'm back at the Southern Africa Youth Project to deliver footage from my previous visit. When I meet a member of the organization, I've heard much about. So, of course, I had to sit down with her for a chat. This is Judy, and if you know Judy, you know a vibrant and respectful and decent young lady. Well, as you can see, she's definitely telling the truth about being vibrant. And if that's anything to go by, it seems like Sayapro's elected the right representative for their public image. Yeah, I'm um, the public relations officer for Sayapro. I work with young, young ladies and young men. Um, we work to skill them for future employment and we were to them to educate them. Having learned a bit about this remarkable organization from my chat with Hakim, I'm impressed about the extent of the work done here at the Southern Africa Youth Project. And we skill them in many in many courses. Um, our courses are anti extra credited. So um, we also help them um, develop themselves, know themselves. Um, I like to tell my youth that um, only you know yourself, only you can make the product of yourself. Um, you should know who you are, you should know your brand. And this is what I do here at Sephora. I motivate children, I motivate you. Um, um, we try our best to, to develop them in a positive way and in an emotional and intelligent way. So you know if you come up with something or a problem, you know how, how do you, how do you, which right choice or which right way should you react to the situation. The greatest testament of the lively environment here at SAPRO must be the attitude of the people who work here. I mean, everyone I've spoken to on and off camera seems to genuinely look forward to walking through these doors and into the space every day. My time here has been so wild. Um, I love it here. Um, I have a family. Um, we all family. And everybody that steps into the store is family to me. So my family has been so wonderful. If I could bottle up, if I could bottle up my time here, I would give it to everybody so everybody could have a fantastic time and taste what I think that is. The more I speak to Judy about her involvement here at the Southern Africa Youth Project and even her wishes for the organization in the future, I begin to realize that the enthusiasm in the air here at SAPRO is actually an intentionally and successfully inculcated culture of positivity. I am bullet, I am bullet, I am bullet, you're bullet, you're bullet, you're bullet, you're bullet because we're doing a lot. We're doing a lot to develop young youth. We're doing a lot to achieve with what other people couldn't achieve and we're doing a lot here at Staples we are not and we work hard. So and even though we are not we wish for the the that change and youth yes yeah yeah that you see really the Bible you guys can do more. You guys can do more even if you play but you should work hard. Um we we show we show a lot of positivity here at Sapro and I wish that we could show even more positivity here at Sapro. Um, we aspire to educate. I mean we have an academy here. We have an online academy here. So um, we're educating. As much as that we are skilling, but we're educating. We're showing that education yes, it is the key. And yes, you can do more with being educated. So, top With an outlook like that behind their hard work, I don't doubt this organization is still going to make serious waves. But an organization is made up of individuals, and I'm interested in what drew Judy to the South African Youth Project in the first place. I'm a young youth that has been in positive and negative experiences. So, one day I just woke up doing what I do and I came up to and I came up and saw this beautiful place. So young youth walk into these doors 
basically gay and some of them want motivation for a better life. So I believe I'm that motivation for them. When you come up with a youth that does that's lost, you come up with with youth that aren't really sure about their life, um, you can be your their motivation. Even if you're a youth yourself, you can be somebody else's motivation. So what motivates me to be here is to grind and shut people because that's 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 what we should do as community as as we serve the community. Of course, we should all do what we can to motivate each other, regardless of our place in society. And as much as Judy and I share that sentiment, there's still many people who may feel like there's no point to it. But the point for Judy is her desire to serve her community. I aspire to be one of the best health workers here in Deepsea. I aspire to be one of the best educators here in Deepsea. I aspire to become a mover and a shaper of here in Deepsea. It's people like Judy who get me so excited about the future of Deepsea. Young people with a zeal for community development are unstoppable, and we're the reason this hood is going straight to the top. I wish that a lot of youth could take themselves, and even though they're here in Lugasi, but to aspire to be more than what they are. Um, I I wish that a lot of a lot of youth here in Lugasi could challenge themselves and take on. Um, their future goals and say, I'm going to get by the wall and I'm going to do my best. Well, Judy's spitting facts, right? Any change that happens will have to start with the attitudes we have of our ability to enact change in our circumstances. But we only have to look around us to find evidence that it's not as easy as it may sound. We can do better by, number one, showing people how strong we are. Um, I think I think a lot of people here in Algarve don't believe how strong they are. A lot of people in Algarve don't believe that they can, and they can do a lot more better. I don't blame those who feel helpless. At the beginning of this series, I spoke about the sinister nature of poverty to discourage any hope of breaking its cycle. It positions itself not only as an insurmountable obstacle, but as a fact of life. And it doesn't help that there remain those who exploit and take advantage of the vulnerability of others. We can also tackle crime in our country because that's a big thing. And we can also tackle corruption in our country because a lot of a lot of a lot of bad things happening here in our country because of crime um, and also corruption. So if we can limit that or it can disappear, it would be a lot wonderful thing. A lot of a lot of things will move because I feel that we're moving as skeletons, we're not moving as people. So if we have a, a human movement and not a skeleton movement, it would be so, so much better. On the other hand, few as they may be, there are always those whose passion it is to create a different narrative about township communities. Number one, we have a lot of um, NPOs here. And our NPOs try their best to develop young youth. So we're getting that right. Number two, um, youth here are trying to find themselves. I mean, that's so cool. For somebody to try and find themselves and somebody to say, I'm going to develop my kasi, I'm going to develop my township, I want my kasi. When somebody comes to my kasi and say, um, this is a beautiful kasi. So, um, a lot of youth here is trying to develop and find themselves in this country. So, I think that's one thing that we are also getting right. The biggest thing is that we're trying to be educated and we're trying to be skilled. And we're trying to be educated and skilled so we can boost our industry for, for also generations that are coming up. And indeed, is even though it's been slept on for so long that it's also begun to sleep on itself. Well, I'm still on a mission to find the hottest youth hangout spot, Eka So, I'm a first aider of the robot number one. So, I'm the first aider. So, 
I wish it could be one of the hangout spots where we can see talent. Um, there are many talented soccer players there. There are many talented um, artists there. And I wish that that place could be booming and we could show a lot of our talent there. Because I think that would be one of the biggest hangout spots at Europa Dunga number one. Um, or all the teams that is out. Um, we have different. We have different. Um, we have different talent there. Even though the talent we, it's not showcased, but a lot of talent comes there and they want to be showcased. So if we can move and we can drive that place to be one of our hottest places, I'm telling you, I think this we are going to be. Sure, the picture Judy's painted of a place buzzing with youth sportsmanship and creativity has convinced me that I should pay it a visit. Follow the Colors of My Hood Instagram account to see how my visit goes and find out about other exciting things that I get up to. Of course, I asked Julie to point us in the direction of the best local food. This food mokasi ko mikharenda. I'm between one and six ko mikharenda, koko, wohoe, chicken dal. <laughs> yes, you guessed it. I'm going to check this place out too to find out why Judy thinks it's the best our hood has to offer. I'm so grateful for my time with her and I could talk to her for hours. But before we say goodbye, I ask her who she thinks I should interview next. Um, the CMH interview, um, I think there's a, there's a young lady called um, Chet. She's a nail artist, makeup artist. So I think you should go and interview her. She's just opposite um, Africa Tiku and she knows her. I'll be paying Shaz a visit soon to see her work and hopefully to sit down for a chat. So subscribe to my YouTube channel to find out what comes of that and other cool content I have lined up. Don't forget to follow the Colors of My Hood Instagram page to be the first to know when a new video is on its way. I'll pop the link to that in the description box. The conditions in our townships can be so disheartening that when one comes across a young person intent on an improved life, their ambitions are typically of an individualistic nature. And with the overwhelming extent of need in Makasi, who can really blame them? I guess it just seems more realistic and achievable to focus on improving only your family circumstances, which is why Judy is so incredible in my eyes. She burns with a desire to serve her community, knowing that when our hood improves, our lives improve along with it. Sweet or salty? Sweet. Lays or Doritos? Lays. Tomato sauce or mayonnaise? Mayonnaise. Morning or evening? Morning. Sandals or sneakers? Sandals. CD or DVD? DVD. Cash or card? Card. Yes or no? No. Indoors or outdoors? Outdoors!